thank you, uh, Laskin Hirla, and thank you, Minister. Um, and I want to congratulate you uh, on the work you've done to date and on guiding uh, the ship through incredibly, incredibly stormy waters. Uh, and I, I think you've done a fantastic job, so just to thank you and congratulate you on that. And also to take this opportunity to thank uh, the, the teachers and the principals who have put in an enormous effort and an enormous amount of work over the last couple of months in preparing uh, their schools for uh, the return of, of students. And I visited a, a national school in Inishannon a few weeks before the reopening, and just to see the thought process and the amount of effort into the different ways that they could back, bring back children uh, in a safe manner uh, was really inspiring. And, you know, these um, professionals are there to educate. That is their passion and that is their number one priority. And, and it's, it's, I just want to thank them uh, for, for, for doing that. Uh, I want to thank the parents also who have had to manage a lot of uh, anxiety and worry and excitement uh, and um, their own anxiety as well, I guess. Uh, but they have been incredibly understanding, I believe, uh, in the most part. But uh, I just want to, to, to say thank you to them. And finally, uh, a very good luck to all of those students who are still uh, returning to school in a phased manner. Um, I'm, most of them, I, I have a lot of nieces and nephews who are returning to school and they're absolutely over the moon. Um, to be going back to school. So uh, just take this opportunity to say best of luck to them. Uh, but as, as we know, um, with all of these processes and dealing with a pandemic and a situation like this, there's always going to be a few issues. So I think I want to take this opportunity uh, to highlight uh, a few of these issues with you, Minister, and you might look at them if they're individual issues and, and you might um, come back to me uh, on these. Uh, the issue of school transport is going to crop up, obviously, um, and look, there's two sides to this. There's on the one side, you have situations where uh, children aren't able to avail of tickets and avail of school transport. And on the other side, we seem to be hearing stories of uh, situations where buses uh, are at full capacity and there's concern from parents in terms of um, safety. Uh, so a couple of examples, there's a family in Glengariff, not far over the border from your own county, uh, Minister. Um, there's a, a family of, there's four children. Um, one of them is attending primary school and has a ticket, and three of the children attending secondary school, only one of them uh, has been given a ticket, and the other two have not qualified for a ticket. And I'm trying to get my head around it. Uh, you know where Glengariff is. It's not far from Bantry. Bantry would be the secondary school that they would attend, uh, but these two children are being told that they should um, attend Kenmare over the border in, in, in your own beautiful county, Kerry. Um, I just, and I just, look, it's an anomaly, and these anomalies do exist, but we do need a system whereby these, we see less and less of these situations. Uh, so I would love you to take, Minister, to take that case on board and maybe have a look, at, have a look into it. Um, the similar situations are happening in Drimble League and other, other parts of the constituency. But then on the other side of the scale, um, you have a situation in Belgooli, which is close to Kinsale, uh, where the bus is... Um, it, Parents are very concerned, and I've been contacted by a fair few parents in the area, about the fact that the bus is at full capacity. They're talking about numbers of 57 students on a bus, uh, and that seems to me to fly in the face of what we're trying to do in terms of bringing kids back to school safely, and there's concern. And look, uh, it may well be uh, that, that the, um, all the provisions and everything has been adhered to, but again, it's just a concern that I would like to see looked into, and if an extra bus could be provided in that area, I think it would allay a lot of those co concerns and it would be much safer. And finally, uh, Minister, there's, there's just two issues um, in terms of two local schools in my constituency. Um, Skull Breeda in Ballady Hob is a, a lovely national school there, but they're in a situation where there are three classes uh, in the same classroom, uh, that's 28 students uh, and one teacher. So what they're looking for um, is uh, they're appealing for extra staff and an extra teacher so that they can split the class and that they can return safely and the numbers um, are much safer. Uh, and the final uh, case that I'd like to bring to your attention, Minister, and, and you're already aware of it and you've already acknowledged it and I know that you will look into it, and that is the situation uh, with uh, Millie McCarthy. Millie's seven years old. She's a child with uh, Down syndrome. Uh, and unfortunately, she cannot attend school with her classmates because the class is already uh, well over capacity at 34. Uh, and again, for me, the solution there, Minister, and there may be other solutions, is the provision of an extra teacher um, to be made available to that school so that they can split the class. And Millie, who does have underlying health conditions but is desperate to return to school, that she can return to school safely. And that is just the, the plea I'm making here. And um, thank you again for the, for the incredible job you're doing, Minister.